Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. If you like my videos, please don't forget to give them the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. So today I'm putting together the journal that I made for my grandson, my future grandson. This has been quite the challenging one to say the least, because I'm used to decorating with lace and things like that. And a little boy, you're not gonna do that with. So these, this is actually her shower invitation here. And I thought maybe of making this, see if you can see that, a full signature in her journal. So at her shower, I can put this at the back of the journal and everybody that comes can write them a little note. So that was definitely gonna be a signature. Then here is what I'm dealing with. And I do not want to have all different signatures. And they're, they're quite thick. Like I have the, um, the 1 to 11 months. And it's quite a few pages here. 11, but I guess that's not too, too bad. And then this is the very beginning. The first family photo. Hello world. And I'm not quite sure, but I'm thinking all about me, my first family photo, and then I have my first favorites, so my first Father's Day, my first Christmas. I, I almost wish I could have put them in the back, but it's just not going to flow right if I do that. And then I have this extra add-on, which is just a fun thing that they can journal on and and go through so what i could possibly do because the one-year-old and my birthday is only it's very small i think what i'm gonna end up doing is my first i feel definitely if i possibly can put it in here with the first year or the first like the first moments coming home from the hospital my first mother's day i think i'm gonna have to do it like that so then and then I can follow it by the different months and then I'm almost thinking I'm gonna just because there are a few pages of this I might just put it in with this or I might count well there are 11 here if I can put it in with this and then I'll have this this and then this at the end. So I'd have four signatures. It might be tight in here. Let me see. Because oh, I, I could do the four and I could do that easily. because The four signatures. Because I'm not going to be adding a ton of ephemera. I do have a, a bunch here that went with the, the kit. But it's more for pockets and stuff. And I gotta figure out what I wanna add here. If I wanna add a pocket, which I think I do, but I gotta figure out exactly which pocket I wanna add. Do I wanna add? Yeah, I don't like that with that. I'm gonna have to look through my stash because I like to add something in the front if they wanna put something in there. As what's well. another thing that I like to kinda iron out first. If I can, because I like to put it straight across. So I'm going to go and figure that out. And then I'm going to skip back and sort these out. I want to ink around the edges. And then I want to fold these as well and create a signature. And I want to count. You know, a lot of people say you should do an even amount. But if you're going to, it's not really going to matter per se if, you know, one has two more than the other. I don't think. So let me go and figure out what I'm going to do here for um, the pocket. And I'll be right back. So I think what I'm going to do is, you know, I love vintage. And I have this vintage napkin. So I cut it down to size. And I thought that looked rather nice. What I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to sew underneath just to give it an edge, and I'm going to glue it down along the sides. And I'll glue, I'll 
sew it down on the side here just to get that rough edge because I don't want it to fray. And I don't want to sew again on top because it's going to go through the journal on here. Glue it down after I give it a little touch up on either side. I'm going to go do that and I'm going to give it a good iron. And I think that'll look really cute. And that way there's a little bit of Mimi in there, vintage. <laughs> I'm vintage as they come. I have this sewed down. And I absolutely love old linens. And that's why I try to find them and put them on my Ko-Fi for you. I use them for everything. The material that you get on these old linens, you do not get now. It's just, it's not comparable just keep in mind that if you're buying like a tablecloth or something from me there's so many uses for them what i did is i stitched start on my stitch here in the middle and i stopped but then i thought you know what i want to go across and kind of make it all uniform now i'm going to be ultra careful i'm not going to glue here because we're going to have this the um stitch and i'm just going to glue along the edges And if it does go through, it's not a big deal at this point because we're just going along just the edge very, very lightly. And this glue is super, super, super good. have my pages all figured out this was difficult and I'll show you why I used two different sets from my porch prints and then I had an additional well wishes order I'm going to put these in and I, I added numbers because I wanted to make sure I had a right the right a decent amount of pages because one only had eight pages so I added some blank write-in ones. Two is the very beginning is going to be my baby book, Hello World. And it's all about my first, you know, my first 4th of July, my first this, my first that. So that is going to be the very beginning first page in the book. And I thought this was kind of cute too. I probably should put two of these in because we do have um, divorced families, but I think there's enough room for them to write in there i think is going to be my first and i'm toying with either this one coming next or this one i think i'm going to do this one this one is basically just a bunch of little thing places to write and i'm going to add some ephemera in here and this was a an add-on kit to the other one and it matched her theme so well i had to do it what I'm going to do is put that in the middle. And what I did is I added a few extra pages in here with lines so we can write down the gifts she got and who gave them to her. And I think that's nice to keep it inside this journal, what I did with that. And I think that'll go second. And then this is either going to go second or this is going to go second. I'm not 100% sure yet. This might even go second because these are all the months up here leading up to one. I think I might do that second. And then I'll have this third. And then the very end, these are a little shorter. I'm gonna have the well wishes to make it easier when we circulate the journal around. And, oops, I'm dropping everything here. And that'll fit well in here as far as the four signatures goes and there's plenty of room for them to add as well next step i'm going to do is i started rounding these corners i kind of wish i didn't now i have to go through and round all of the corners and then i'm gonna do the inking around the sides then i'll sew the signatures in and then the next part will be doing all the decorating of it and then I will show you ladies what I did um, to the bag 
for the journal. I only have a few days left, so I really have to hot tail on this. Tomorrow I'm going to go spend the day with the mom-to-be, and we're going to get pedicures and have lunch together and do a little shopping. I really only have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and I still have some burp cloths to do. So I'm pretty busy. I sewed in all my signatures. And I left these, but I'm not, I don't usually put beads on the bottom. I don't know why, but in case I found something I thought would look cute. But I have it all sewed in. So what I did is I did the first three signatures are from that kit that I, the two kits that I showed you. And then the very last one, I figured it'd be easier for the shower for people to add their little wishes. The next thing I do is... I'm not one that really likes to have the um, thread showing. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to mimic the outside of this and take this fabric and stitch around it. And I'm going to line it up with the ends of these pieces, the ends here. And um, then glue it down. And I might, I found this, these um, ribbons, but I don't know. I might do one of these in the center, or I might use it for a tassel. I don't know. I thought I had little lion um, things to hang here, but I'm not sure if I can find them. I'll, I'll look again. I'm going to go sew this so I can glue it down, and then I'm going to get started on the inside of the journal. I'm not going to take you guys along while I create the inside of the journal, but what I'll do once the journal is complete, and again, it's going to be simple, so it's going to be relatively easy, is I will give you guys a final flip through. I'd like to add something here, maybe one of these ribbons, one is born to be wild, I could put the ribbon across the center here just to break it up a little bit on the front and the back. So let me go work on this and I will be back. The journal's finished and I decided I had this <clears throat> cute muslin bag that I decided to put the journal in as a little keeper so it stays clean for them. So let me do a quick little flip through to show you the journal. I'm actually pretty pleased with how it came out. I had some ribbon here that I added, and I found this tassel. I don't even know where I got it from. I just clipped it in case they didn't like it or they wanted to switch it around. So I'm going to do a quick flip through. Keep in mind, this is a very simple journal because my daughter's simple, and she wanted it to be simple. I wanted so bad to do something here.
Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.